Cheers. Cheers! Welcome to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11, Episode 8, Snatch Game! Etsy. <laughs> I really thought that was going to come into play more. Nope. It was just for the uh, product placement opportunity, which I really found weird. Vakago, what was it? I, something that said... Vakaya. Brought to you by Vakaya. Vakay, obviously, is a gayer way of saying, like... Yeah. Vakaya, that, whatever, those collection of letters. What's Vakaya mean? I have no idea. Oh, great, okay. But if it was like, Vakay, yeah, that seems like the Harder way Harder that... to Google? I don't know. I mean, it's still spelled the same way. I would spell it the exact same way. Just say it like, I would just Vake. pronounce it, Vake, yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. It's gayer. Anyway. <laughs> 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 now I'm thinking about funny, like, Vake, yeah. <laughs> Yo, good. Vake, yeah. It's good. It was funny. Brought to you by Vake, yeah. So, yes, Raja has gone home. Yeah. And uh, no one really, do they care? I don't remember, do they talk about it? No, because there was so much drama still, because we get, right, right. it was just like, bam. Yeah. Silky's really still mad at Evie. Yeah. Uh, uh, she seems to be very mad the whole episode. She was like way too pressed. Yeah. It got really ugly at certain points, and I was yeah. like, this isn't a cute look. Yeah, no. Focus on you. I mean, obviously it worked out for her, even though I disagree with the outcome of the episode. I do. Um, but... Yeah, she was just in a tood. Yes, in a tood. She was having a fit. And and making everyone live in her tood, which I do not like. She was peevish. Peevish, would you say? Yes. She's in a snit. It's having a fit. Just like sulking. Oh, was sulking silky. I do like that. Mm. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, she was just bringing everyone down. She really was. She was Debbie Downer. She was like negative Nina. Yes. Remember when that was a thing that they like forced upon us? Yeah. Yeah. So he's still really mad and Vanjie's still mad yeah. and they're all kind of like Mer. I was cool with Evie, but now I know we just need to just let it go. Don't worry, girl, I won't be giving you any more unasked for advice. I'll just let you be in the bottom. Fine, girl, I will not give you any more unsolicited advice. I'll just let you be, be in, in the, the bottom. bottom. To be fair, that is what happened. Well, I mean, Evie was in the bottom. Yes, <laughs> but true. But so was Vanjie. I wonder if she had asked Evie, what her opinion was, if Evie would have said, nah, girl, do a different character. That'd be interesting. That would have been interesting. I want to know. Yeah. I mean, she definitely should have done a different character. Yeah. L.A. Toya. Did yeah. you think about doing LaToya Jackson? Rue and Jinx were like, but girl, pick a different character. Do L.A. Toya. L.A. Toya. I mean, it all gets resolved by the end of the episode, but Vanjie's all pissed. Like, you know, one moment you're really kind and nice oh to me, and the other moment you're stabbing me in the back, and Evie's like, what are you what talking time? about? You can have multiple emotions. Just be, I wasn't fake being kind to you. Right. I can be kind and honest, and that's a relationship. It like, did, she was like, what? Yeah, I was over it. Yeah. Um, well, and then, oh my God, and then Silky and her, oh, well, I'm just sick and tired of the fakeness and the fakery and the... Right. And it was like, ultimately, I'm just tired of the fake. I'm tired of the phony. Who do you feel is being fake? I'm not even going to bring that up at this moment. Well, I'm not going to say. And it was like, well, now you're being fake. <laughs> Where's that hand mirror you were holding for Vanjie? <laughs> I like that. I like it a lot. Brooklyn, you know, I mean, I definitely see myself in Brooklyn. I'm just like, mm, yes, you, you and me, we would get along. But anyway, she tries to make peace. Take a moment to celebrate the fact that this is motherfucking top eight. Top eight, and we love you, uh, and bye. Okay, bye. Okay, all right. It was all just very childish, yes. and I was happy that by the end of the episode, like both Vanjie and Evie admitted that, apologized, moved forward, and seemed to have grown from it, and yep. Silky seems to be in the same exact place. Yeah. Yes. If not worse, she's like dug deeper. Yeah. It's like, nah, I hate y'all. It's like crazy. I hate y'all. What was that? That it was, was like, like Gary a... Garrett Hedlund from Pan. Yes. That's exactly what it was. Weird. Haven't thought about that in a while. A long time. Peter, I need ya. Peter. <laughs> that movie was trash. Really garbage. Here we are now. <laughs> that was too good though. No? Here we are. Oh my god, to so be up in the. Here we are now. To so be up in the nasal. Oh god, do you think they're gonna cast Hugh Jackman in the new Guys and Dolls? Oh. Good lord, no. Right? I hope not. He's too old. Zac Efron? 
As Nathan or I mean, I know Scott? that I just go to Zac Efron for everything, <laughs> but he's one of the few people that has charisma, can sing, and dance. It's very true. I feel like he has to be Sky. He has to be that charming yes. kind of... Yes. Yeah. Right? That's the Frank Sinatra character, right? No, that's Nathan Detroit. Oh. The Marlon Brando character, Sky Masterson. Oh. I haven't watched Guys and Dolls in a very long time, to be honest. Well, Nathan is the funny, you know, we're not getting married, Adeline. Right, right. Adelaide. Adeline. Adelaide, Adelaide. You know, that kind of mm -hmm. funny. Mm hmm And Sky's like the suave. Either, I don't know. Both either. Twins. <gasps> he plays both he parts. He play all the it's parts. It's a twist. <laughs> <laughs> They're brothers. They're twins. So then the next oh. day, they come in and it's very somber and Silky's just like pissed and she's like, I'm just not going to talk about it. And it's like, this is annoying. Yeah, she was just acting like a child. Well, again, it was the negativity. It was like, why are we bringing this cloud of negativity? Just yeah. grow up and like, don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, why do you care about what Evie said? I mean, it was very shady. It was very shady of Evie to say I mean, that. it was obviously also very off the cuff. Like, right. that's why it was funny. Right. It was cutting shade. You know, obviously she is talented. Yes. And like, you know, so it was... Don't let other people's opinions bother you. Exactly. You know, I mean, you could say that to Evie too. You could say it to everybody. Sure. But it just, she was definitely like... Yeah. <laughs> Silky, what? You, Silky. You, Good morning, Silky. I'm wonderful. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm not gonna be fun, and it's like, no, then you're doing yourself a further disservice. Because that's all you got going. Yeah, I mean, yeah, America's not gonna love you if you're not fun. Well, I mean, I don't think they're gonna love her regardless. I mean, <sighs> to me, she is getting the villain at it, so I'm really confused as to why she's, like, winning and stuff. I mean, I guess Fifi won. Fifi won. Here and there. Yeah. Roxy won here and there. They have to bring her to the end, so everyone's, like, really extra excited when Evie wins. Right. Yeah. Who's it? <laughs> Papa, can you hear can me? me? Good. I've still never seen you at all. <laughs> me either. <laughs> I feel like it would be like... <laughs> <laughs> right? It has like, to be just... Because it's like written, starring, direct, you know, like mm -hmm. the whole... And Mandy Patinkin's in it, who takes himself real serious. Yes. Oh, boy. I she was two? Oh, oh. I, yeah. Yeah. I told you about that thing on set where the the guy was like, "Oh, do your impression that I love. Do your impression that I love." Like this. I the Mandy Patinkin so. thing. No. And he's like, he was like this character. This is what guy. you were working on a set. Yeah. And he goes, he goes, okay, this is Mandy Patinkin singing somewhere over the rainbow and being so moved by his own performance that he brings himself to tears. And I was like, yes. Yes to all of this. And then he did it, and I was like, yes. Yeah. Yes to all of this. It was good. <laughs> I like that It was good. The mini challenge this week, promote your own new self-help book. Yes, because Rue has a new book. This, I mean, I'm, this is the Rue I love. Guru, available for download and purchase wherever fine books are sold. The cover really got me. Yeah. Because from afar, it looked like girl. Girl. Available anywhere fine books are sold. <laughs> Ladies, what's the name of my book? Guru. Got that right. And where can you get it? Whenever fine books are sold. That's Guru. I mean, it was really silly. And um, this was a silly mini challenge. Yeah. So they all had to promote and dress the part for their book cover. Right. The photo shoot of their own self-help book. Now, I was also confused as to how they selected the winner for this. Yeah. I thought Akira did a great job. I thought Akira was super fun, had a lot of uh, good content, a lot of things to right. say. Right, she was really funny and witty about it. I was it. engaged in what she was saying. Yep. Bend over. Girl, show me what you working with. My best advice, slap that ass and get a free pay. I thought that Evie's like actual cover was like It was the only everything. one I would have bought. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's this Annie Leibovitz cover? Like, it's like, psychedelic, yellow submarine, wavy, color, I mean, was, yes. And yet somehow, like, also sexy clown. Like, yeah. I don't know what was happening, but I was intrigued. I was getting into it. I was gonna pick that book up and be like, what the fuck is this? Yes, what's this? Yeah. Sometimes you eat a baby. What did she say? <laughs> eat a baby. Her copy was okay. It was okay, but the baby part stuck out to me. Sure, yeah, eat a baby. And then Plastique just being like... <laughs> So upset. We got babies on spikes. Oh my god. Whoop, whoop. I ain't gonna drive around town and put babies on spikes. <laughs> well, and Vanjie having to read her own name off her cue cards really oh, made me oh, laugh. Oh. Hi, my name. My name is Vanessa Vanjie Mateo. Wait, wait, stop. You had to look at the card to remember your name? And I thank myself. 
<laughs> it was very much that. I forgot my own name. Yeah. Hello, 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 Christine. <laughs> I'm not a cool dad. I I'm mean, a, I am I'm a cool, cool dad. dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> we needed to go back to that. Yeah. To the fun. Yeah. She's being weighed down. I'm yeah, I think silly. she's too in her head about, like, I gotta right. do better. And it's like, yeah. just be yourself. Well, and next week is an acting challenge, yeah. so hopefully it'll be hopefully fun. Hopefully it'll be fun. Get used to disappointment. Okay. And then Plastique tries to, like, shade herself by being like, not everyone has not a everyone. personality. No one seemed to laugh. No. She tried. Sure. Nina's like, proportionality, they talk about shoulder oh, eyes. Like, oh, oh, yeah. I thought this was one of the best ones, too. That made me laugh. Yeah. Uh, Brooklyn is just Katya. Oh, yeah. Just fully Katya. <laughs> it's like, so we were just doing this now? I mean, I love it. But what? And also, I like Ruth. You're like a slutty J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> a sexy J.K. Rowling. Yeah. <laughs> so Silky, his book is called Eat It. And I was like, so are you giving Latrice Royale royalties? It was so weird. I was just like, wait, so she's just reusing Latrice's catchphrase. We're not talking about it. And then she just talks about eating the whole right. time. I wrote this book. Due to the fact that I was hungry. Yeah. Oh, the buffet line, and I thought about this because I was hungry, and I'm like, okay. I don't know. It's, not I just, it's just not doing it for me. It's not doing it for it's me. It's clearly doing it for Rue. Yeah. The cover was terrible. Oh, the actual photograph was terrible. Her book cover was <laughs> Her trying to launch and sell her book to the judges was <laughs> So I was like, I'm confused. But she had a lot of energy, yep. you know, Rue responded to it. So Everyone I, was, was cackling. Like, I understood why she won. And oh, right, a thousand dollar Postmates gift card. Oh my god. Speaking of. Oh my god, I <laughs> loved this. I mean, it was shady that like... Poor Morgan. Morgan. Poor Morgan. The hardest working drag queen in show comes out to, a, to be a Postmates ad. And I was like, oh, what's this? Right. I didn't know what to do with her, right? I was like, right. oh, we bring Jinx on for the snatch game. You know, but... Morgan. Like... We like you. I don't yeah. know. I mean, we do. We love you. Yeah. And this bedazzled post shirt. Oh my god. They and then laugh. this ping pong show. Haven't you forgotten something, darling? <laughs> Rue announces that it's going to be this week is the Snatch Game at sea. Ahoy. No sailors' outfits. No, yeah, no pit crew coming out, you know. Right. Oh. I think it was just an excuse because Rue wanted to wear that captain's hat. Yeah, maybe. They didn't make any like love boat jokes. I mean, Charo was on love boat. Sure. It would have been fun to see That's that. That's kind of crazy that connection. no one ever connected that. That would have been, yeah. I mean, Celine Dion mentioned Titanic. Which, Which yeah. is a nautical theme. I That's what Ruth said, and I'm like, well, it is a nautical theme, but I think you're confused. I'm like, I like this. <laughs> yeah. What if I'm having But she was too busy listening to Akira to talk about to, yeah, uh, to Rue. It was a bummer. It was, yeah. But um, yeah, it's a snatch game at sea. You all have to do obscure 70s TV actors. Oh. Oh, what's that? Nina West, you win? Yes. <laughs> I mean, we'll talk about it. Love Boat guest stars. <laughs> Edition. <laughs> it's a real niche audience. But then we get another surprise. Jinx shows up to give advice about how to win Snatch Game. I thought this was fun. Yeah, it was perfectly lovely. I liked, there. you know. Yeah. Didn't seem like it helped. No, because no one particular. really listened. No. And that's what's really crazy to me is that, like, at this point, season 11, you've seen how many people fail. come and fail. Yeah. I would bring. Three options. Yeah. I'd be prepared for any of them. Yeah. And I would be like, well, let's see which one goes over best. Mm -hmm. You know? People didn't seem to do that. Yep. I also wouldn't pick like some obscure person who does nails for an Instagram. I wouldn't. You would do Liza. <laughs> I can't do Liza though, so I would have to find something else. You can't do the lisp. The lisp. No, I'm, I'm not great at Liza. How do I turn this thing on? There's gotta be a, a button or a, a turn ball change. Remember that? Kickball change. Kickball change. Kick ball change. Kick ball change. I can't figure out how to turn this crazy thing off. Chain ball kick chain. Remember that? Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Liza, forget the lie. We gotta go. Liza, baby. We're gonna be late. late. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, so Jinx comes around, they talk to everybody, and, you know, it was fairly uneventful. I did Pretty enjoy uh, Brooklyn's 
French Canadian accent by way of Jamaica. It's a French Canadian delicacy. You will love it. It's French fries with cheese curd and gravy. It's amazing. It just really sounded Jamaican. Too. It was bad. Um, unless, like, you know, Jimmy, shall we go for eat? Now, if Ariana Grande was there to do Celine Dion, I would fully be here for that. Thank you, Jimmy! Shall we go for it? <laughs> they had what's her face on that one Kristen time. Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, so yeah. why not have Ariana Grande be Celine Dion? I would love that. Show up at the end, just, just sing a song. Exactly, yeah. Shall we go for it? Finding you can Walk it! <laughs> and then... <laughs> they all do it. I like it. Yeah. yeah, but it was clear Brooklyn had psyched herself out yeah. before even starting. Yeah. But then we get to Nina, yeah. and she's trying to decide, should I do Harvey Firestein? Harvey Firestein. Harvey Firestein. I mean, that's that's a great one, because if you can do the voice, which like pretty easy to do, yeah. like then you're halfway there. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Are Shelley Winters older or Shelley McLean older? What's the difference? Some scotch tape and red hair dye. What about Joan Collins? Oh, I don't think I have the strength. I have some scotch tape and some red hair dye. <laughs> Is that Betty Rubble? <laughs> Close, Joanne Worley. I was like, either, both. I love it. I don't know, all of the above. Oh, great. Right. And then uh, they go to Vanjie and she's like, oh, I'm gonna be the catch me outside girl that I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Who? I still don't know who this person is. <laughs> I'm like Clea Duvall in that way. I don't know who that is, but. You seemed fun. I don't know who the Cash Me Outside girl is really, but you really made me laugh. I don't know why she didn't do LA Toya. Sure, just do. Rue's like, hey, in your video that you said that got you on the show, you did Latoya Jackson. Do Latoya Jackson. <laughs> do it. Well, I know that she's a friend of the show. I'm like, girl, well, this don't worry bullshit. about it. Exactly. Yeah, I love that. Rue's just Rue's like, no. Unless you're doing Whitney on crack. Very bad. And then they get to Plastique, and right. she's like, oh, I'm gonna, do oh god, I still don't remember who it is. Oh, I have no idea. It's someone from Love and Hip Hop who does nails. Yeah. We're actually gonna do Lovely Mimi. She's on Love and Hip Hop. She's like this nail tech from Atlanta. I don't know. I don't know, and I mean, rightfully so. They're like, so is this different than the character that you did for nails? Black Panther? Nails? Nails. Turns out, no. I didn't think she did a bad job in Snatch Game at all. I thought she was actually pretty good, but it is getting same samey. Yes. So quick commercial break and we'll be back with Snatch Game at Sea. <laughs> I just kept waiting for some more nautical things to happen. Right. Even if Rue's like, woo woo, get on board sure. the SS Snatch. Or did she do that? I don't think so. I kept wanting to make an out to sea joke. Remember that Walter Matthau, Jack Lemmon movie? Why do I know that? It was probably like a, the trailer before a tape you watched a lot. I don't think, no, I think I know it because of you. Maybe. But why, I like, see, I can We have the tape. Maybe that's why. It was like grumpier old men, but it was at sea. Sure. The grumpiest men? Yeah. Grumpiest men at sea. That's sure. Grumpier, -er -er, I like that. You like it better than grumpiest? No. <laughs> that's good. But I like it. I would have liked a, a tr to complete the trilogy and <laughs> grumpiest, grumpiest old men. Or, was it not a thing? No, it was grumpy old men and grumpier grumpy -er. old men. Oh, and then that's it. Yeah. Cool. Remember Grumpy Old Men? Yes. That was such a big deal. Yeah, it like, was. Like, it was, like, really popular. Yeah. It's, really, like, really popular. Let's stop. So. But anyway, the special guests are Tony Hale and Clea Duvall, and I was so excited because I really like both of them. Yeah, I do, too. I almost said Joe McHale, and then I was like, no, we've already been there. Joe? Also, I just said Joe. I definitely just said Joe. Joe. So I don't know what's happening. Joe McHale? Yeah. And then he could have made up a McHale's Navy joke! Oh, remember Mikhail's Navy? Yeah. I wasn't gonna even ask, but... <laughs> but he could have made a Mikhail's Navy joke! It's silly and fun. Bitch! Oh, no, bitch! <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we have, uh, uh, in the hot seat... In the hot seat! Silky Ganache as T.S. Madison, who I did not... I'd heard of. Right. But I did not really know anything of. I... Vaguely remember that I think she was on a gay for play episode. Mm. But no, I don't like know a lot about her. At um, first, I was like, "Oh, did she say T.S. Eliot? That seems like a really obscure, bad, weird choice." <laughs> that would be. Although maybe it'd be brave. <laughs> now that would have been a surprise mm -hmm. if Doctor Silky Ganache had said, oh. "For Snatch Game, I'll be doing T.S. Eliot." I would have been like, "I mean, I want to see what." <laughs> 
where this I can't wait to play and see where this goes, you know what I mean? Sure. She had a lot of energy, she had the gift of gab. She was the only one that was really interacting with people, which Definitely. Drew really likes. So like I'm not saying she did a bad job in any way. No. But I definitely thought Nina was rough. I thought that, I mean, we'll talk about it more, but I found Silky, when you really look back at it, to be too one note to be a winning yeah, performance it was for me. Literally just t talk of dicks. It was just like, oh, it's another dick joke. Unlike Nina's dick joke. <laughs> We will get there. Yeah. But yeah, Nina was the only one that I genuinely like laughed at. I'm not Harvey Weinstein. No, you're not. The only no. thing I've assaulted is a cheese plate. Yeah. I love this. Yes. Yeah. And then her like right. faces. Her faces are so good. But um, yeah, next was Plastique as lovely Mimi. Yo, I do the extension, everything for yo. Oh, I let Mimi do my nails in Atlanta, bitch. Uh -huh. I was the first big bitch walking around Atlanta with athlete's feet on my hand. I will check you, huh? I thought she did a pretty good job. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, I like, this was good where she actually did find her like hood, hood voice. Right. And that play, I don't know if that was something that she arranged with Silky or right. what, because Silky really gave her the alley-oop and then was like, oh, this bitch got two voices. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was really like, oh, here, I'm helping her character. They played well together. Yeah. And they were really the only ones interacting. Pretty much. Like, at least well. Yeah. So then next we have Evie as Whoopi Goldberg. I was really bummed because I was excited for a Whoopi. Yeah. I, I mean, like, oh, he's going to be like grouchy and like over it all and just like kind of above it all. That's if you're doing the view whoopee. Right, if you're doing the view whoopee. Since I haven't had a role in a good five or six thousand years. Aren't you in the view? I mean, there's so many whoopies that you could pick from. You've got Sister Act. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like it more when they do the person. Sure, than just, just a character. Personally, you know, yes. it's, there's more nuance to that. But you can pull jokes from You can pull person. jokes from Ghost, you can pull jokes from Jumping Jack Flash? I don't think anyone's pulling jokes from that. Tammy and the T-Rex? That's not her. But she is in Theodore Rex. There you go. Oh my god, that would have been so perfect if Evie had made a <laughs> Theodore Rex joke! <gasps> and she was talking about her like career being in a dismal downward spiral the whole time. That would have been so good. Yeah, like remember when I tried to literally sue a studio to get out of this contract so I didn't have to be in this garbage T-Rex movie, but then I had to do it anyway, so I looked pissed the entire time and I was in one of the biggest failures of all time. And all I got for it was the stupid T-Rex clock. <laughs> That'd be very like long walk. I would have but... loved it. Man, that's such a bummer! Cause this was a bummer! Yeah, I really she, I mean, she looked like cracked out, like, seen better days Whoopi. She looked tired. And her Ebenezer Scrooge glasses keep falling, falling off. off. And the way it was just like, it wasn't working and you could tell Evie wasn't confident. Yes, absolutely. You know? And yeah. so it was just like, a bummer. It was. Like, oh. Yeah. And then Sugar as Charo, and I thought she looked great. Yep. And was fun and light and cute and like embodied, she embodied the fun of Charo, yes. but not the bitch of Charo. Mm. Uno, dos, uno, dos, I am the bigger bitch in the world. <laughs> mm. She needed to find that like sassy bitch. True. To really have won. Yes. I thought she did a really good she job. She did a great job. Yeah. She was super cute. She was fun. She always had something to say that was amusing. Sure. If not hilarious, but like Right, it was fun not and hilarious. Funny. Nor was it ever like witty or whatever. It just kind of felt like here's a Charoism. <clears throat> yeah. But it was all very good. Oh boy. And the next was Miss Vangie as Danielle Bergoli, the Cash Me Outside girl. Still don't know. It, who this is, I have no, no idea who this is. But I did enjoy the Stussy that she drew on that card. Sure. I was like, haven't seen one of these in a while. Excited about it. But why? Relevance, unclear. Unclear, because then later on she's like, oh, I have this mixtape, which was actually a CD, that she had then also drawn a Stussy on. And I was like, is this care? Is this person from the 90s? No. We looked it up, she's not. She was like, her Cash Me Outside gig was in 2016. So I, I really don't know. And she had like the white beater on. Yeah. Like she looked 90s. With the crazy, I, I, don't I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, but it sounded like you said cash me outside. I did. That's what I googled. Oh, really? She is the cash me outside girl. Although it did say that they were saying catch me outside. Is that just like a 
her accent. That it sounds like either or. Like I thought she was saying like catch me outside like. Let's like, take, like it's going to go down the, in the parking take lot. Take it to the streets. That is <laughs> like, actually gonna... how Vanjie played it. Right. But also, I think it's cash me outside, like give me that check outside. I don't know. I don't know this is a poor choice. Okay. And then Akira was Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. I don't know if I would have felt better about this had we not already seen Monique's Tiffany Haddish, which I thought was much better a much better impersonation I agree I thought Akira was like fine and had plenty of things to say she wasn't like yeah you know flatlining it but it just felt like Akira a little bit it didn't if she didn't tell me I'm doing Tiffany Haddish I would just be like oh is Akira just kind of doing like a character did you get any Tiffany Haddish from her, really? Not really. The look was there. Girl, listen, I had tried to take them on a boat trip that I had bought on RuPaul. Uh -huh. Cause you can't say the other thing. <laughs> she didn't have any of the affectations. No, not really, no. It was safe for me. Very. Because next was Brooklyn Heights as Celine Dion. The greatest singer in the world. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. She I mean, she did do that a few times. But like, it didn't Not really... in a very good way. You gotta get that real pound. Yeah. And that's the uh, the necklace yeah. from the movie. I am part of the angry. ocean. It took them twenty. It took them a hundred years to find it. Yes. They got it out of the ocean and then she trod back in. I mean, it just felt like she didn't really know much about Celine. I think she, yeah, she blanked. I mean. Or yeah. She didn't have any follow up. She wasn't quick witted. You know, like she was like, oh, that's my favorite song. Why? Uh... My favorite song to sing is all coming back to me now. Why? Because the music and the passion, it just draw me in and I feel so alive yeah. when I sing that song. It's all coming back to me now. Why is that? If you can't think of anything, literally just, uh, it didn't come back to me. I, like, I don't know, right. like, it's not know. coming to me. It's not coming to me. It didn't come back to me. Yeah. They got it out of the ocean and then she threw it back in. She threw it back in. She threw it back in. Yes. in. Again, very Jamaican. <laughs> sure. It was odd to me. It was odd. It was, like, it was a weird accent. Where's the cool Reddings jokes? Let's do it. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to think of who else Brooklyn could have done that would have been better. I mean, like, literally basically anyone, but, like, who would be a good person for her? Natalie Portman? Natalie Portman? Natalie Portman? Um, I'm trying to think of someone that's, like, kind of boring. You know, like... Yeah, but Natalie Portman, I think, would have been too boring. I mean, you could have... <laughs> I just think you talk about your accomplishments all day. Oh, well, when I went to Yale. Oh my god, right. Well, when I went to Israel, and my mother, you know, whatever. Yeah, so when I became a, mo a working mother, right. I was just like all about me, me, mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. What you want, Natalie? To drink and fight. <laughs> what you need, Natalie? To fight all, all night. night. <laughs> yeah, if you were like prim and proper. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you threw the hoodie on and it was like, <laughs> I'm ready. That would have been silly. That would have been. Maybe Natalie would have been a good. I, the right person. I think I went off. there because ballet, Black Swan. I think. That's oh, like, I like that. I yeah. That's why I went there. But mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like. She's gone. What happened, to my pretty little girl? You sweet girl, she's gone. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think Amy Adams could be a funny? No. <sighs> no. No. I can't think of one funny thing to say about Amy Adams. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I like her, Absolutely. but I can't think of one know, funny thing funny. to say about yeah, her. Yeah, no. <laughs> so no? Maybe Anne Hathaway? Oh, well, Anne Hathaway's easy. No, just I think maybe her. Brooklyn could be Anne Hathaway? Yeah, maybe. I like that you're going to these actresses that are like... I don't know why. The, the try-too-hard actresses. <laughs> I'm a stone, let's just keep... <laughs> I mean, I did think it was funny. Like, I think she went in with this idea that she would sort of take the Chad Michaels route, like, oh, I'm too good for this. Right. Like, oh, I didn't know, I don't know why I'm here. here I, I thought, thought it was, it was a the, Titanic reunion. It, reunion or whatever, and that was sort of silly, and then it was like, oh, I don't know. Well, she got so quickly derailed from that. that by Akira, then, yeah. Yeah, by Akira, that, that she lost any momentum, and she fell back and was just, it was like, and yeah. now we're done. Yeah. And Rue's like, well, it might be like the Titanic. She's right. Well, Titanic, the event, not the movie. 
Well, sure, not a worldwide success. <laughs> it's a sensation. Yeah, it seems like Silky and Plastique are having a nice uh -huh. kind of rapport back and forth. Banji just really uh, hones in on yelling at Tony Hale. Which was funny. I mean, it, it made me laugh. It was sort it, of funny. It, like, the judges really enjoyed her. Yeah. Or the guest judges, I should say, she really enjoyed her. engaging in yes. some way. Yes. Yeah. Charismatic. Was she a good character? And I think Michelle had, it, we will talk about it, but like I think Michelle had a good point where it's like, that wasn't the challenge. Right. Is she a charismatic, fun, goofy person? Yes. Did she complete the challenge of Snatch Game? No. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know who else I would have really put down there. I guess Akira. Like, I wouldn't put yeah. Plastique in the bottom for what she did. I wouldn't no. put Sugar in the bottom for what she no. did. So basically, so, yeah. Akira was like, on the bubble. Yeah, because I don't really remember much of what Akira said. No, but I think Akira's runway. Oh yeah, was obviously way better than Banji's. So yes. Well, so then, um, about halfway through, at a certain point, Nina, instead of picking which character she should do, she just decides switches. to do both. Switches to Joanne Worley. I was very excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was exciting too. This was the first time that someone has done a historical contestant on Match Game. Right, like someone that's been on Match Game and someone that's been on Snatch Game. Love it. Right. I mean, Still waiting I, for that Brett Summers impersonation. Can't wait. And that you then turn into Charles Nelson Riley, maybe? Oh. I like that. That'd be great. And then you get a twofer. Yeah. But anyway, she turns into Joanne Worley and it was fabulous because I love her. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna turn into the chest of drawers. <laughs> yes. I've worked with so many dicks in my life. Dick Martin, Dick Nixon. I've worked with so many dicks. I think Paul Lynn really outdid me though. <laughs> but I think Paul Lynn has me beat. beat has me beat on that. I loved it. It was really good. Oh, I was dead. That made me laugh so hard. Yeah. I just thought this was so funny, and I, like I said, Nina was genuinely the only person that I was like laughing. I cackled. Snatch word. Okay. Cantaloupe. Uh, fruit, <laughs> honeydew, uh, melon, <laughs> melon, and then the fun with like the snatch word because she was okay. on password yes. for all those years. Okay, it's a fruit. Is it? Is that? Is it melons? Yes. Yeah! Flamenco. That was a fun interaction. That was. That was it felt fun. like they edited it. Like, there had to be more good Nina stuff. I mean, I feel like there had to have been. It seemed very short. The whole thing seemed short. Yeah, as far as, far as Snatch Games go. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know, maybe there wasn't enough content. There was then... a lot of, you know, we can't just dead. Like, people, there was a lot of people that were just, like, boring. Right, so then it's just like, why are we showing that? And Silky's wig change right. into that horrific wig. Awful. 22 inches, because I guess that's a, a T.S. Eliot thing she, like, started a, a thing with about like a 22 inch wig extension. Oh, okay. Listen, people telling me that my accent is fake. They tell me, oh no, Charu is from Cincinnati. And listen, <laughs> do not misconstrue me. I am from España. Yeah, I thought Sugar was like consistent all the way through, super Absolutely. cute, super fun. This is when we get Vanjie's mixtape mm. with Stussy. I really still, I was like, what is this? I mean, do you remember, I don't know how many notebooks I made those in. Oh. What was your specialty at the top? Oh, I don't know. I oh. always just do a... You didn't ever do like hats and stuff? Oh, no. I always Oh, I always did like a Harlequin hat. Oh. I like that. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. No, I'd always just do a... Just a regular just one? Just a regular one. Oh. Mm. I wasn't creative enough. It really brought me back. Good. The Stussies. Yeah. Oh, boy. I should see if I can still do it. It's very easy to do. I know, but it's been a while. It's short. And then it's over. And I was like, oh yeah. wow, what a forgettable Snatch Game. Very forgettable. It's really a bummer. I don't know what to do. I don't want to scrap Snatch Game, because I love Snatch Game. Right. But also, as of late, they haven't been good. No. And so it's like, on one hand, I'm kind of on board for the idea of Snatch Game of Love or whatever, but also, that didn't really fix the problem, which is that no. people are picking bad characters. Seriously. And I, I don't know if they need to be more specific where they're like, come with three and we'll tell you which ones to get rid of. Because like, it's just like, you guys, what's happening? There's plenty of times where I don't know who the fuck someone's doing. Pearl, for instance. Right. Big Ange. Ange. I still don't know who Big Ange is. I don't Rest remember what peace. show she was on. I do remember that she died, which was sad. Yeah. But I do not... I Mob still, Wives of New York? I have no idea. I still forget. But yeah. I remember Mansion. Mansion. I don't know about that Batman and Robin shit. Well, I don't know about Batman and Robin, but I love 
money, yacht, and mansion. Like I still remember the look and the whole thing. Yeah. And it was such a character. Yes. That I'm okay with people not picking divas. Totally. But you know, you gotta do it really good then. You have to pick someone who has a character. Right. And that's what, T.S. Madison, I didn't know who she was. Right. But she has a character. And it was still fun to watch. And it, that it made it, it, exactly. I mean, I don't know if the problem this season was people not picking good people though, because we got Whoopi, it was bad. Celine, it was bad. Right. Tiffany Haddish, it was bad. That's true. You know? That's true. Well, and then I was thinking, I was like, maybe Snatch Game needs to be relegated to like a touring thing where it's just like mm -hmm. we pick the best queens who can do it to really do it or maybe it becomes its own show well or... they tried to kind of do it with gay for play in a way but yeah they should just do all-star snatch game yeah but anyway we're back in the workroom and evie apologizes to silky and is like look girl that was out of line for me to say that you were talentless like yes i do love i mean i love evie but she's just like that was out of line i stand by all the other things that i said do you still stand by the rest of my opinions that i had in the past but you fucking proved me wrong and i feel like in the snatch game girl you you slayed it and silky just completely ignores her yeah she still has a stick up her butt i'm not gonna take this you're being fake you're just pretending to apologize it's like okay i guess i don't know it's it's just so stupid to me exactly. where it's like if you were to call anyone fake on this cast i i don't see how you're gonna call evie fake <laughs> she's pretty like out there on her sleeve you know right? but yeah silky is just not having it and I mean, in the confessional, it's like popping off and I'm mad at this and Eve, her drag is garbage and all this yeah. stuff. And I'm just like, so you're the villain. Right? right? Like, so you're just the villain. Like, it's just Fifi all over again. It's crazy to me. Yeah, go back to Party City, this garbage drag. Eva can take her apology, pack it with the rest of the trash that she calls drag and go back to Denver. And then Banji takes Eva's yeah. side and is like, hey, can I talk to you girl for a second? And they sort of both are like, that wasn't cute. We're fighting like, you know, alley cats. And <laughs> I'm sorry and I love you and let's move forward. And they both are just like mature about it. And like, yeah, that wasn't cute. Let's do that. Yep. Great. And then she pauses to everyone or whatever. And they're all like, it's cool, girl. We get it. Yeah. So another quick commercial break. And then we're back with the runway and a lip sync. Love your fucking sync for your life. Yes. <laughs> Rue walks down the runway. Oh boy. It was a bam bam oh no. Oh no. It wasn't a, quite a bam bam no no. Because no, I was like, look at those legs. Oh, well, sure. Yes, but it was a bam bam oh, oh no. no. Um, yeah, I didn't love this. No. No, um, I, I the, the literal, like, it looked like bam bam. I just. Just the torn yep, bottom. It, right, like with the. It was just Fifi's, like. Final, yeah. not her finale look, right, but, but the, the final episode look. Yeah. It was pretty much that. Basically. Better. Yes, of course. I mean, I'm glad she's showing off those legs. Sure. She looks great. Rue looks great. Great. So, category is sequence on the runway. Sequence on the runway. Sequence on the runway. Sequence on the runway. I thought it was weird that we've already had glitter uh -huh. and then now we're doing sequins. sequins. I was like, oh, whatever. I like this runway though. I like the runway, but yeah. I just thought that was kind of repetitive. I feel you. But anyway. Yeah. First down the runway, a curious C Davenport. This was really fun and sexy and cheeky and. It's like zebra, because it had like the zebra mane shoulder pads. Did you see? Yes. It had like the top fringe or whatever. And then with this fucking tail, it really got me like, without the tail, I would have been like, Ooh, girl, you look really good. But with the tail, it's like, this is why I love you. Yeah, I love that. I thought this was Big great. Big hair, oh, the yeah. necklace. I mean, it was kind of like a zebra mane hair. I I really liked this. Yeah. Well, I also appreciated that the tail came from, like, her waistline. Mm. It wasn't, like, a like a butt placement, because that could have been Would've weird. Would have been weird. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But this was like, ooh, I work at the Kitty Cat Club. Yeah. You know? But yeah. it's zebra night. I don't know what sure. that means, but. Zebra night at the Kitty Cat Club. I want to know. That sounds like a fabulous time. Right? Yeah. The next was Miss Vangie. Oh boy. And in, in a sequin swimsuit with a right? cape. And now, okay, when she came out, I was like, oh no. Yeah. But also, like, I like, I mean, it was perfectly lovely. It was right, fine. Right. And I was just like, well, shit, the category was sequins, and I'm sure she already brought, like, it was like, yeah, what's what she are you gonna, gonna do? do? I mean, all I would say is a cape is really just a big piece of fabric. So 
had she been a craftier queen and yes. been like, fuck this, I don't care if I got this cape custom made, I need to change this up and make some sort of skirt or something or a caftan or whatever it is, that's worth it because I realize that I need to change this. Sure. Because I think part of the reason she was defo in the bottom yes. was because of this outfit. Yes. Now, it worked out for her that she wasn't the bottom two. Right. But that counts against her in the eyes of the judges in the yeah. long term. And like you would point out, like she could have made a caftan. Just fucking fold that cape in half, cut yeah. a hole out for your head. Yeah. You know, cinch it a little at the give, waist and you're good to go. Give it a belt, give it a slit. Yeah. You know, make yourself a cocktail. Yeah. Do a character. I love that. You know. Absolutely. Be real boozy. With that silly, like, sequin. Yes. You know, oh, something. I love it. Yeah, give me some real Patsy Stone. Yeah. Love it. Yes, to all of that. Yeah. Like a real, if, oh, like a Patsy Stone buffon with this if sequin If Angie had come out in a big caftan. cigarette with a long, you know, holder and a martini glass and made herself a caftan, even if it had been like, girl, you're just wearing a caftan, you know, what's this? I think it would have done her better. It's not a swimsuit, Michelle. That's what I would literally say. Michelle! Michelle! So then next on the runway is Nina West in this Minuteman, oh Paul Revere realness. And yes. I was like, ah, um, yes, ah, um, yes, yes. Oh, to all of it. Not the same it's like thing. Martha Washington in, you know, full drag regalia. I was just like, yes! I mean, I think she could do with a different skirt. She wears uh -huh. a lot of... Right above the knee, you know, straight skirts, yep. which isn't helping the hip situation. Nope. nope. Well, she's a grand old flag. Ross is like, oh, she's a grand old flag. And we're like, but why not a grand old flag? I mean, here for that redux. Yes. Like maybe Randy Rainbow could do it or something like. He's a grand, grand old flag. He's, He's a, a high flying flag. flag. He's, I mean, this is very silly. <laughs> it would be so Next was Sugar Kane in this gorgeous. I mean, this is the best she's looked. Absolutely. This aubergine, just full. Like flamingo. Yeah. Flamingo! Ruffles and the hair and every. It was very good. Yeah, it was very just the best she's looked. For sure. It was great. Yeah, nailed it. This is how you do a gown on a runway. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. <laughs> so then next out is Brooklyn Heights. And I mean, this was so good. So she comes out in this like Pam Greer, Foxy Brown fantasy with Afro and this sort of captain and these high boots. And you're like, okay, yes. And then the quick change that's not only her outfit, but also the, the wig. wig. I mean, everyone lost their mind. Lost their mind. And I love that Brooklyn was like, I gotta, turn it, I gotta turn it out. Yeah. I'm gonna pull out all of the I mean, stops. it didn't help her. I mean, I think it did. I think it did because I think overall... If she hadn't done this and still been in the bottom, I feel like Evie might have just taken it. Perhaps. And that's always interesting too. It's a thing that I've been thinking about more and more this season. Rue never says that they have even footing going in to the lip sync. No. It's not like, okay, reset whoever wins the lip sync. It's like, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination. Yeah. But she could have already basically decided that, like, unless you fucking turn out the most amazing lip sync ever, you're going to be eliminated. And so in this case, I think you're right. Like, it helped her with that leg up. Going it showed into... that fire. I yeah. mean, and it was just like, yes, we have to keep her. We have to. Mm -hmm. She threw off that. I mean, it was so good. It and then amazing. she just... Oh. Stopping twirling and, and shablamming and doing kid. this and do she was just like I'm living every single she took Alyssa's notes from last week yes girl she did. I gotta knock this out of the park yeah it was great yeah this is I think one of the most memorable runways definitely the season well so then yeah so then she flips off the the captain in the wig to reveal this like white snake you know music video dancer outfit yeah. I was just like okay yes yeah this was giving me a little bit of Trinity to tuck. Sure, definitely. Next up is Evie Audley in this like fabulous kind of cutout jumpsuit. It was with like graffiti '90s colors, sort of. I really like this. I like love Fly this. Girl, like in living color, kind of. Yes. Like yes, with this beehive Peg Bundy hairdo, and I was like, I don't really know exactly what you're telling me, but I'm intrigued and I like it. And then she turned around and was just assless. Yep, loved it. Like she oh. lost a quarter of her outfit. Oh, a little copper tone moment. Yeah, right? Oh, it's my, oh, oh. which way do I go? This way? That way? 
Yeah, the hair didn't bother me necessarily. I was kind of like, I don't know if these go together. Not but I wasn't chuffed about it. It didn't bother me, but I was like, oh, they could it be a better combination? Yeah. Possibly later in the episode. <laughs> no, ultimately, I was fine with it. Yeah, I was more than fine with it. So then next is Silky Ganache yeah. in this sort of green. I mean, she's got this huge ruffled to the floor Diana Ross coat yep. shrug. Yeah situation and this sort of green uh, sequin gown. I thought this was good. Was it green or was it blue? It was green. Turquoise maybe? Turquoisey. But the shrug was green. It was teal. Alright. Anyway. I thought this was good. Yeah. Um, this is certainly one of her best looks. Yeah. This was also one of the most Latrice Royale Esque looks. Yeah, I did feel that way. Um, and it was like, well, bitch, you already stole her tagline. You're stealing right. her look now, too. I mean, obviously, it was fully Diana Ross. Like, right. I'm just going pretty sure I saw Diana Ross. Like, she just had to, like, walk around with it half shrugged on, sing a number, and then drop it on the floor for some PA to come run and grab and take off stage because that happened seven times in the Diana Ross concert. But still, like... There was just a couple... Like, it just... You could see her uh, undergarments in the back. She wasn't quite cinched, so it just didn't look like it fit right. The hem was a little short. You know, there was just a couple of little things here and there that I was like, ooh, this doesn't look quite polished, yeah. you know? And uh, particularly next to, like, Sugar's gown, where you're like, oh, my God, I'm drooling. And then you're like, oh, this kind of looks like a little cheap, you know, a little bit cheap. Yes. And not quite like, ooh. So then last down the runway is Plastique Tiara. And this was fine. I liked this. It was different. Yes. It wasn't uh, just a corset fabric on it. It was a corset with pants. Um, so I was like, that's cool. It was very Ice Queen, you know. I thought she looked beautiful. I kind of looked more like the Sparklets bus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like that. She had a real green square around her somehow. <laughs> And full sparklets. Sparkly bubbles all over my body. I thought she looked beautiful. Yes. The wig was right. Like, she's always oh, the wig very was gorgeous. polished. Yes. You know, the body was right. All of it. She's wearing the same shoes. The same strappy heels. I don't understand why no one is talking about the heels. I, I mean, know. she couldn't wear the tights this week unless they were under the pants. The same shoes. It's been like five weeks in a row. Yeah, it's kind of great. How has Michelle not noticed? Or said something? Or whatever. So I thought this was beautiful and polished, but I'm getting a little bored. Totally. So another quick commercial break, and we will be right back. <laughs> Silky wins. I still think Nino, for me, was funnier. I liked her runway better. Um, I think the overall package, particularly, they didn't read Nina's performance at all. No. They read Silky's bag of wig. They read her runway a little bit. Yeah. And, you know, there's certain things, whereas they loved Nina's runway. Well, and Nina gave us two different characters. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. I was really confused by this. I think Nina was robbed. Mm -hmm. In my mind, she won. Yes. Evie and Brooklyn and Vanjie are in the bottom. Now, I really thought they were going to pull the trigger on the Vanjie versus Brooklyn lip sync. I thought so, too. I I'm glad, like, ultimately, that they didn't because oh yeah. then we got oh my God. this epic fucking oh lip sync. But I was like, oh, no brainer. They're definitely going right. to put them in the bottom. Yeah. And it's like, oh, the boyfriends, lovers, crushies have to lip sync against each other. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, it would yeah. be like rude to me. I don't want to send you home. Exactly. But no, Evie and Brooklyn are at the bottom. <gasps> Luckily, I got spoiled because I feel like I would have been too nervous. Right? I mean, I uh, yeah. They have to lip sync to "Sorry Not Sorry" by Demi Lovato, yeah. and I mean, right away, Evie's lip sync. She's doing everything with her mouth, and Brooklyn is just selling all of the angles. Oh my god, this was. I mean, obviously, everyone's been gagging right, for a week, right. but like, this is one of the best lip syncs ever. Ever. Yeah. And not just because of the acrobatics. No. It's it's all of it. I all mean, of it. it. It's different than a lot of the others that we love. It was amazing. And then Evie does a flip. Well, she she has the silly oh, right, hairspray. Right, right. And then I love it. Just, she tosses it. And it's just like this tune. And you're like, oh shit, it's about to go down. Right. The oh. bass is about to drop. Right. I need my, both my hands exactly. for what's about to happen. <laughs> And then she does like a cartwheel. No, it's like a front flip. Sure. It was crazy. She does it and her wig flies off and I went, oh, oh no. no. And, and, and then to reveal the 
Brayden. Oh my god. I was like, yes! Oh, I lost my mind. It was great. It was great. It was like so many emotions at once. Oh no, yes! yes. It was a this roller coaster. Typical force wig reveal. You better have a wig under that wig. Yeah, and she did. Thank God. I was really nervous, but then I was like, why I mean, was I nervous? She knows it's better. Evie. I mean, and then the look really came alive for oh, me because yeah. I was like, oh, it's like full Rick James. I just went to the Bahamas and got like the beaded braids. Like, I was like, uh huh, uh, yes, to all of this. It was so good. It was weaving a tail. And I was like, I wish she'd worn this on the runway, but then I was also like, no, no because then we wouldn't have gotten this reveal. And it was so much better. And she knew that no matter what, she was going to be in the bottom. She knows what's up. I was like, yeah, it all makes sense. And Brooklyn is just like, Sex on a stick, yep. just selling everything, and then all of these acrobatic. Well, I'll do a flip. Well, then yeah, I'll, I'll do a flip. flip. Well, if I do a split in this direction, then I'll do a handstand with the splits in the other direction. And then when you stop doing the splits, I'll start doing my splits, and then I'll do a different flip split, and then I will continue. And that then because. I'll be in the splits, just thrusting and like right, Dana singing in the yeah. full split. Oh, it was great. She was like really just ah. It was like Milan's. You know, pussy mop, but she was getting a specific stain on the floor, just right <laughs> in one spot. Spot treatment. Spot. It was the spot treatment, and then Evie's back bend and oh Brooklyn's God. back bend. Yep. And then Evie's like, "Oh, okay. Well, now I'm gonna do a back bend and then flip over onto." Oh my feet. God, that was so good. Crazy. And then twirl around and shablam. It was just like, what is happening? And meanwhile, both of the lip syncs are like. Yeah, on point. Yeah. They're like lip syncing upside down while their legs are twirling and I was like Cameron Michaels who? Everyone was so excited Thank about you! Thank you! Legs. About the <laughs> weird yoga pose. <laughs> Here are those receipts a few years later. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking loved this. Yeah. I okay. loved I did also so I tweeted right. then about like my reaction. I had to make that gif. Can you imagine? Wait, which gift? Did I not see it? Did you not see this? I might not have seen oh, it. Oh, well, that's good because it would have spoiled it for you. Oh, great. Um, because it said exactly who lip synced, but um, you know, you know, like, oh, he got money. That video, get it all for him. A large. You haven't seen this video? No. Oh my god, I will show you. It's amazing. I get some skittles, uh, some dips, Reese's pieces, ah! pretzels, <laughs> and a large popcorn. A large. Oh. A large, oh, but so was her face and like hand gestures are, so it was me during the whole lipstick was. Oh, I did see that. Yeah. I did see that. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was funny. Good, thanks. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> so they're flipping and they're hand standing and doing this and doing that and Cleo Duvall is just like. <laughs> Rue. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, they were also like overwhelmed with the power I of... I mean, could you imagine being there live for this? Oh, oh my god. Well, and then, so, I love that Rue was just Shantae, you both safe. It doesn't okay. even bother me, like, Evie, you're safe. Mm -mm. And Brooklyn, you're, you're, you're also, also safe. safe. Just no, like, just bitch. You bitches on that. <laughs> and then I just loved the call oh, out. Oh. All y'all other bitches beware, there's some lip sync assassins. We got a couple of lip sync assassins in our presence. No one is safe. No one is safe. Cut to Silky! The shady edit! <laughs> Girl. Oh my god, it's Silky's face. Oh. And then now that's going around. Oh yeah, so exactly. <laughs> How to win a challenge and lose the episode. It's very true. Like, because obviously, I don't think there's been a really, really, really fantastic lip sync yet. No. On this season. No, because you have actually said for almost every single one that it could be a double elimination. Well, obviously I was right, because Rue was very impressed. Like, obviously Rue was like, oh, this is a lip sync thing. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. I thought sending six bitches out on stage to lip sync for their life would have been a real... No, this is, this is what we want. Yeah. So good. I mean, this will be the moment of the season. Oh yeah, the gag of the season. This is the... Yeah, well hopefully it's now then like the push. I mean, they were pretty clearly the top two of three or four maybe. Sure. And so now it's just solidified. It's like, you know, Brooklyn, Evie. For me, it's Nina and Vanjie, Vanjie. or Akiria. Yeah, oh no, yeah, Akiria. 
whoever steps it up. Akiri and Vanjie are both, I'm like, yeah. I really like you. Yeah. Step it up. Step, step it, it up. up. Yeah. So this week on Untucked, girl. <laughs> I told you I was going to do a different one each week. Okay. I, and you know what, April, it's been a lot of drag race. I got to do something to keep it fresh. So Akiria and Plastique are the only two safe. Yes. Uh, so it was a little boring, but... Uh, I mean, it was boring, but I was like... Are we gonna get into what's going well, on? I mean, it yes. was so good. So Plastique is like, oh, girl, did you, like, See? notice what happened last week on Untucked? And Akira's like, I don't know what you're talking about, girl. I was practicing my song. Yeah, I saw Evie flip someone off, and, and then, uh, you know, Rasha, Rasha was shouting. Was mad and was, uh... I didn't instigate anything. What are you talking about? And I remember Rasha storming in and out. <laughs> Where were the receipts? I... This this whole scene could have even if the, like they never got to fighting about it. Oh, totally. This whole scene could have been so much funnier with the receipt. They we allowed this video. Then Raja she just called me a liar out of nowhere. Ah! He just talked about her family. What he said about her family? Hey, Wayne, what she been saying? Girl, she's gonna watch this back. Right. It was really funny. So she's like, oh no, I don't really know what you're talking about. So then Plastique is like. Oh, well, my boyfriend came on the screen. She's telling the whole story, and Akira's just like, not paying attention. Mm, yeah, girl, that's cool. I'm definitely interested in what you're talking about. <laughs> I did not call you a liar. <laughs> I did not. Raja to call you I a liar. I didn't poke, right? poke the bear that is Raja and say, eh. Hey, she's she's lying. She's, she's full of shit. She's a liar. Shit. But also, who cares? I don't know. It's just like, why are you so pressed about... Making this a thing. Right. It's a you, weird thing to attack. You're never gonna come off looking great. Exactly. Oh, this. she lied about her. Her mom and, and grandmother only sort of ignore her. They don't fully ignore her. Well, okay. But I just I really enjoyed her being like telling this whole story and Akira just So then Akira's like, okay, well then it does seem confusing, so like, tell me the real right, story, like, right. what is up? And Plastique explains that, okay, well, her mother and her grandmother know that she does drag, but the rest of her family doesn't or chooses not to acknowledge that she does, and that she, if she brings her boyfriend over, she has to call him her friend or right. her roommate, roommate, and it's just sort of like, let's not talk about it. And Akira's like, oh, okay, now I get it. And I mean, she tries to like, walk it back in the confessional, like, I guess I was confused. Uh... Maybe I misunderstood Plastique's story. I don't know what the situation is at this point, honestly, I'm confused. So then all the top and bottom queens come back, and Evie sort of walks off again and goes to the Virginia Slim's exterior tapestry wall. Yeah, this is new. They like bothered to get wallpaper in a fake wall. I'm like, just give them another room. Just, just give them a second room. We need a secondary location where people can be shady. Yeah, would have really been helpful last week. So Nina goes out and is sort of like, what's going on? And Evie's just sort of, you know, talking about how she knows she's kind of, you know, going to be in the bottom and she really fucked up and how she hates, you know, disappointing people and not being at her best and all that stuff and how it wasn't cute, how she's been acting, you know, kind of like popping off at people and all these things. And Nina's like, girl, you're feeling the way you're feeling and that's okay. Like she gives her a nice little I thought it was a really nice talk and it was like, you and I are a lot alike. I think my heart beats on the stage, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, this is your opportunity to show everybody what the fuck you do. It was a good pep talk. And this is funny, her laugh was really entertaining. When was, oh. She's like, I wish it would be like, congratulations, you won. Now, lip sync for us. Yeah, we love you so much, we need you to perform. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that it was like, uh, congratulations, you did so well in the Snatch game. We want to see you perform. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see your lip sync. <laughs> I do enjoy it. Yeah. And then uh, everyone comes back. We get our first video. our first video message yeah. from Evie's mom. And this was just super cute, of yep. course. And, you know, I'm rooting for you and you're the best. And you, when she was like, oh, when you were one and you climbed all the stairs the to, to the get the to club. the club, I was like, what is this story? May the power of the wind surge through you. The power of, wind. of the wind. Dude, oh she's God. like, oh, you bitch. Yeah, loved it. This whole backstory about her mom walking in on her pretending to be Storm from X-Men. I was like, oh, I love this so much. And my mom like caught me once in the middle of like a Walmart parking lot pretending to be Storm and like, cause it was a rainstorm and it was just like spinning like. <laughs> but also it made me think of stepsister from Planet Weird. <laughs> that the wind. We fear the wind. I wish to be gas. 
pure gas. Oh my god. I wish I could find that movie, April. You I haven't will... found it? It's like not anywhere. It's not like on YouTube or something? Maybe. Or other places? I mean, maybe. Mm. Maybe. I was not able to find it when I last looked. Somebody send us the VHS tape. Oh my god. I would die. Also, a Xenon Girl of the 21st Century VHS tape would die. She's kind of all emotional, and Nina's kind of giving her a hug, and then just like gives her a little tap on her bare ass. Yep. Yep, just a little. And then it's time for another video. We've got another video. Oh my god. I was like, oh, is it going to be for Brooklyn? Like. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, what is this? No, it's for Raja. <laughs> Could you imagine? I wonder how many video messages they have that they just haven't aired. I mean, I'm sure there has to be. Some at least, yeah. right? Yeah. Weird. But no, it's Akira's mother and grandmother. And oh my god, she has a very I mean, roller coaster emotion. Hopping around and, and, and then, crying and excited yes. and. <laughs> She's on the floor? Yeah. Oh. I was like, oh my god, what is happening? She's really going through it. She was going through it, but I love it. How do they do it? How do the yeah. kids, what is it that the kids do? They're trying to do the heart thing. How they do it? This is how you do it again. This is how you do it? Yeah, like that. This is how it, they do it, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. They were so cute and funny. It's like the... What? The what? You don't know what this is? No. So it's like mostly K-pop, but you make a little heart. Oh, like a... I thought you were doing like the world's tiniest violin <laughs> just for you. No. And I mean, everyone is crying. It was just like, oh, bring right. out the yeah. tissues. Yeah. It's like, oh, I thought yeah. I was done crying. Right. Oh my God, everyone's just like, ah. They seemed really great. Yeah. Bring home for my birthday, bring home that diamond tiara. Diamond. Yeah, right? she really, the diamond was great. I appreciated that pronunciation. Yeah, RuPaul crying. The diamond crying. Yes. So yeah, I mean, this episode was like, Okay, and then had like the most fucking fabulous fantastic lip sync. So yes. I was like, yes! And we got, you know, a Joanne Worley, so. I mean, yes, finally! I hope people take more cues. Right? I mean, I love it. Even if you took contestants from Match Game now. Mmm! Caroline Ray, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Rosie! Rosie. O'Donnell. Oh, no, I'm with Rosie Parks. Rosie, Rosie O'Donnell! Rosie Parks! <laughs> Rosie Parks! Oh wait, no, that's not who I was no. hearing. I mean, I love Snatch Game. I yeah. do like the idea of just a Snatch Game game show. I, I mean, I think that would be fabulous. Where Snatch Game with drag queens. Yeah. And there's like, how awesome would it be to be like a contestant on that show? And right? Like, you get to win. I don't even care. If it's like a thousand dollar Hamburger uh, Mary's gift card, vacaya. I don't care. Vacaya. Yeah. Vacaya. So much better. So, anyway, yeah, cheers to yes. Snatch Game, cheers Just to this motherfucking lip sync. Ugh, to Evie in Brooklyn, cheers.